Hey guys, Rich here at Flippin' for a Living. I hope you're having a glorious Thursday evening. It's a beautiful spring day evening where I am in central Canada. And this originally, um, at the start of the day, was going to be a really quick video. I thought maybe five or six minutes it would take me to run over my finds for the day, um, give my input on um, the stuff I think you guys should look for, what you should pay, where you should sell it, what you should watch out for when you're buying it. But then the day kind of got out of control and I only went to five sales, but four of them were absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to start and finish with my best sale of the day where I spent the least amount of money. I only bought two things. I did a little teaser on Instagram and I apologize if you saw that and have no idea what I was talking about, but I was super excited um, with a couple finds there. So this is it this is what got me so excited today for sale look at that it's a box of ball bearings isn't that exciting but um it's not the ball bearings that's so exciting as what they go with these are actually you probably can't see on there but there is japanese writing on them and these are part of something called pachinko. It's a Japanese form of gambling. It's crazy popular these days. Um, and it's been going on for decades and probably even a century. Anyways, in central Canada, what do I find? I have no idea why it's here, but it is a antique pachinko machine. So, this one is not currently working. I have to find somebody to make it work, but I didn't even care. To me, this is one of the coolest things I have ever, ever found at a garage sale. Um, the balls go through here, they drop through. It's like a, a pinball machine. They keep accumulating. You usually got hundreds of balls going through there at the same time. They come in these slots, you release them with this ball after ball after ball as fast as you want you earn points um, I did a little research on these a while ago because I was interested in bringing this gambling thing to Canada um, and they used them back in the day to you collected points actually you collect the balls is what you do and you cash them in for rewards such as bottles of alcohol and different things anyways pachinko it's called look it up on YouTube the pachinko craze in Japan um, this is just super cool just to have like, a conversation piece even if I never get it working it cost me 20 bucks but uh, antique pachinko machines are selling for hundreds of dollars on eBay so I was super excited to find this super cool and I wanted to show you that to start off I think that's awesome um, so now my sales I got a little bit of a cheat sheet so I want to make sure I keep track um, this sale here uh, this was actually my third sale of the day and uh, I only spent $48 here and easily what I have here is over $400 worth of stuff. I don't get it. I don't understand what people are thinking um, when they're selling a lot of things, but these um, models, anytime you can find a complete model, especially if it's sealed like this, Ertl is a very popular, great brand. These were all a buck or two bucks. I don't know why this sealed one was $2, but this sealed one was only a dollar. Anyways, for a buck or two a piece, what do I got here? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight bucks there. And um, I'm easily going to get 60, maybe even $100 for what's sitting there. So that was a great find. I, this was just the most badass little clutch I've ever seen in my life, so I had to buy it. I mean, like check it out with the skulls and the owls and stuff. It's like knuckle dusters, is that what they're called? That you can hold your clutch and fight at the same time. That was three bucks, I just had to buy it because. I don't know what these Jordans, what year they are. They're kids ones, so they're not quite as valuable but they're in great shape. They were $4, I couldn't pass up on those. So um, if you're interested, hit me up. Anytime you can find a game, I don't care if it's Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, which are three of the crappiest titles. Um, as long as they're not sports games, 
buy them. Pick them up for a buck. You can't go wrong. You can always add them to a system and maybe once in a while you'll just hit a home run. Like I haven't comped this one yet, but just because it's wrestling and wrestling is such a massive sport, sport, um, and it's got the Ultimate Warrior on it and Hulk Hogan and some of the bets. Um, this might surprise me and be a 15 or 20 or $30 game, but for a buck I wasn't gonna pass it up. Lululemon, I don't know much about it. Canadian company, super popular um, right now. And they had this Lululemon bag. This is a little pointer for you. This Lululemon bag was $4 and it's in great shape. Um, I should get 35 or 40 bucks for that. But when I saw that, I didn't see anything else. So I asked, just ask, do you have any other Lululemon stuff? And the lady did pull out of her piles and piles of clothing, these two Lulu pieces. Um, I paid $10 for all three pieces. These are a little bit beat up, so I'll only get about 20 bucks for them, but this top I'll probably also get 25 or 30 bucks for. So for 10 bucks, there's another $100 right there. This is the one that really threw me off. Um, these were sitting there. I didn't see the Nike box at first. I saw they were in a box, but check these out, you guys. They are brand new Nikes. Not sure anything about them right now, the year, the style, anything, and you saw on there 20 bucks. That's not what I paid for them because they had one right beside for 10. Exactly the same, size 11. Um, Nike Dunk High, PRD. I mean, 10 bucks for a pair of those. I did take a quick look. I'm pretty sure these are minimum gonna be $100 each. So there you see it, one, two, three, four hundred dollars from that sale and I only spent 40 bucks so I'm assuming these are authentic I don't know if they put knockoffs in um, Nike boxes I'm hoping not but they're I was just so shocked to see them brand new in the box for 10 bucks and actually still at this yard sale um, that I kind of wondered if they were knockoffs but I'm pretty confident they're not so that was one sale you guys kind of stuff you can get from just one sale when the price is right you just gotta capitalize on that um, so here's another sale this actually was my first sale of the day all this stuff you see here so um, what I'm doing this year is I'm going to have I usually have at least one yard sale a year but this year I'm gonna do things a little bit differently I am sick and tired of dealing with 25 and 50 cent and dollar items. Uh, I don't buy them unless I have, if I have anything like that in my house, old cups or plates or, you know, beat up clothing, just stuff that you only get a buck or less for at a yard sale, whatever, toys. I'm not even going to deal with it. It's just getting donated. I don't care about that stuff. My yard sale this year is going to be advertised as $5 and over. Don't even come if you're not prepared to spend $5 or more. So I'm currently stocking up on items that I can pay 50 cents or a buck for and sell for five, 10, 15, $20. And that's stuff like this. These people had these huge um, pipe wrenches for a buck, this nail puller, you know, axes, extension cords. You can see them all here. For whatever reason, they were giving away these power tools for a buck a piece. I mean, those are all 10, $15 power tools. All this stuff was a buck or two, two bucks for that. I mean, and it's full of bolts and screws. Uh, that car back there, that little Tykes car was also a dollar. That fan, it does hot and cold, was two bucks. Um, this, you know what it is offhand for two dollars? It's used by roofers when they're roofing and it, you go across the grass and it's a large magnet and it actually picks up. Oh look, I am already made a nickel. It actually picks up the nails that get left behind after you do a roofing job. You know what I'm going to actually use this for is um, I have a buddy. We have some friends with a cabin at a lake and we go. And I don't like fishing and he likes fishing. But I like hanging out with them and I like sitting in the boat on the water. So I'm going to go magnet fishing this year. I was actually been looking for one of these. While he is trying to reel in the fish, I'm going to throw this thing over the side of the boat 
and I'm gonna troll for uh, lost jewelry or sunglasses or who knows what I will find at the bottom of the lake. There's some really deep spots. It's a really big lake. I'll probably find nothing just like when you go regular fishing, but who knows? I'll, I'll probably do a video about that in the middle of summer. So watch out for that when I do my um, magnet fishing um, experiment or expedition, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so what other things did I get from her? Yeah, I don't know. Some people are just, just really clearing out stuff. This, I like the lady's style because this is a little um, fountain. It self contains the water in here and then it shoots it out the top and it's a little fountain and it goes back down the sides and back in the middle and just circulates it through. And she had $5 on it and I kind of hummed and hawed like I don't really need it. But I like her style. She was getting rid of stuff and she said, take it, two bucks. You want it, two bucks? So I took it for two bucks. I could probably sell it for 20. It is just some kind of plastic or composite. Um, I could probably sell it for at least 20. I might keep it trying to track some birds around for my cat to play with or something. That vacuum back there, it, um, it looks pretty dirty, but it is Bissell, so it's a decent brand. And fired it up and it works great. I bought that for two bucks. Vacuums sell for me all the time. Like I mentioned before, you guys, if you're new to this especially, stick to things that people need today. People need a vacuum today, so it's gonna sell quick. It's gonna sell way quicker than a collectible or an antique. This vacuum, after I clean it up, whew, after I clean it up, it's gonna sell within 24 hours, I guarantee it, for 25 or 30 bucks, and I paid $2 for it. Such easy money. Nice little side table again. People gotta furnish their houses, okay? This is nice, it's in perfect shape. There's no uh, scratches on the glass. The, uh, the chrome is in really good shape, no rusting or anything. That was also three bucks and I'll sell that for 20 locally also. I'm really focusing on the local stuff right now. In the summer, I, I hoard smaller things, board games, collectibles, smaller things that you can ship out for fourth quarter. I just buy them for a buck or two and throw them in the garage throw them in my storage unit which is my garage and just keep stacking and stacking and stacking them up and by the end of the summer you're not going to miss the five six seven hundred dollars that you spend on five six seven hundred one dollar items that are going to be worth conservatively if you spent five hundred dollars on five hundred one dollar items you probably got five thousand to ten thousand dollars is that right worth of inventory five hundred times ten is five thousand that's how quick your your inventory can build up you guys so many items at yard sales for a buck that are worth ten and twenty and more as i'll show you later on what a dollar can get you it'll blow your mind um so bikes i've mentioned them before anytime you see a bike I took that one for a quick spin. It's got a little bit of rust on it, but I took it for a quick spin. Um, the brakes work, the gears work. It was $20. I'll easily sell that for 60, maybe a little bit more. We'll see how it looks when I clean it up. And remember, wet it down with your hose and then take a picture and it'll be all sparkly and beautiful and it'll look really good. Um, so that's, gonna be easy money sold this weekend um, I don't have anything like it like a chainsaw I plug this in it's electric I like it's electric I like that it's electric uh, and it seemed really good and powerful so I just got one now in case I ever need one or I might just flip it for 25 30 bucks I know I'll get that easily this one will not be for everybody but I do this several times a year I buy lawnmowers that aren't working i don't want to put the time in to do the tune-up on them that's usually all they ever need this one was ten dollars um it doesn't have much gas in it so it might just be low on gas but i tried pulling it pulling it it's got some compression which means things aren't seized up um it wouldn't quite fire up though if it fires up this ten dollar investment is going to easily be 75 bucks but even if it doesn't fire up i sell broken lawnmowers all the time you just advertise them as, my lawnmower won't start anymore, I don't know what's wrong with it. 
and you'll have two or three guys come run into your door to buy it for like 40 bucks rather than throw it in the scrap pile or take it to the metal salvage place um, there are guys who know how to tune these up instantly and help and they'll post it for 100 bucks or 125 bucks I don't care about that I'll make a quick 30 if I can't get it started no problem there so that was the second sale also um, what I spend somewhere around 50 bucks and again going to profit uh, somewhere around four hundred dollars so third sale this one you guys here's where you gotta you gotta not be lazy okay this sale I almost didn't go to um, or no this one I, I, I went to because it popped up late um, just because a sale isn't advertised at the start of the day doesn't mean it's not going to be advertised on Craigslist or Facebook at the end of the day. Um, this sale was not advertised in the morning. It wasn't even advertised at noon. I keep refreshing and I check every couple hours if there's new garage sales that weren't listed at the start of the day. Make sure you do that. This one popped up. It ended up being like five minutes from my house and I went here and it was bonkers. It was unbelievable what they were selling stuff for. Like I couldn't even believe it. Um, these two wetsuits, they're both in great shape. Make sure you check the zippers that nothing's broken and there's no big um, bite marks from a shark in them or anything. No blood on them. Um, it's the time of year in my area. These are going to sell real easily. Body Glove is a very popular brand. These are going to sell very easily for me for 25 or 30 bucks and I paid $7 for the pair. So that's a quick $40 profit. Like this is what I'm talking about. They these cleats have a lot of life left in them they're nike they're baseball cleats um sorry football cleats and they were a buck like why why a dollar i don't know i don't care but i'm not going to pass up on them this was the craziest deal that these people had actually all their deals were crazy and i'm glad that they were every single golf club you see here every single bag all four of them four bags all these golf clubs it was uh, it was 15 bucks for all of it. 15, one, five, that's it for all of it. Now you'll find a lot of golf clubs at garage sales that are quantities for $15. Sometimes you even give them away. And that's if they are crappy, beat up, junk clubs like this. People can't get rid of them. That's what you usually see at your thrift stores, right? Something that looks like that. That's not why I bought it. I bought these because with every pile of crap here, there was some diamonds in here and I don't quite get it. Like Ping, we talk about the brands you want to get. Ping, Cleveland, Callaway, Cobra, TaylorMade, Nike. Um, those are the brands you want to watch out for in golf clubs. This is a ping wedge and I'll probably sell this club separately by itself for $10. This is the winner right here. Um, this Cleveland driver, it's a fairly new model still. It's a stiff shaft. It's got that big giant head on it. That's what you want to look for. Not something like this. Like This is the drivers back in the day, okay? Nobody wants those. Nobody cares about those. The only reason you have a club like this is so when you're on the golf course and you really get pissed off and you don't want to snap one of your good clubs in half, you can wrap this puppy around a tree. You buy it for a buck or get it free at a garage sale and it feels great to just wrap this right around a tree when you slice one into the bushes for the third time. So always keep a few of those handy. But yeah, this club here, I'm easily gonna sell for $50. It's a great driver. Um, there was another really good one in here. This Callaway Big Bertha. It's a little bit older model, but it is Callaway. It is Big Bertha. Those are popular names. That'll be about a $20 club. This one here. This one. Taylor Made Baffler. No, Cobra Baffler, sorry. Cobra Baffler. That's also probably about a $25 club. Uh, um, there's a couple other good ones in there. I kind of did some quick math. And there's a complete set of Tommy Armor irons. I'll be able to sell those irons easily for 50 bucks. So pretty close to $200, almost a guarantee out of these clubs. 
Um, just make sure you're buying the modern ones and staying away again from those ones well, that you see at your thrift store that nobody wants. These same people again. Oh yeah, check this out. I don't know what they're thinking. A dollar, a dollar for that. Yeah, I get it. It's PlayStation 3, but it is the combo pack with the game and the controller still sealed inside. They did open it from the outside, but it's still all sealed in there. The game and the controller. I mean, that's an easy 30 or $40 off a of buck. I gave them a dollar and they handed me two $20 bills. That's the kind of trade I like. Another crazy purchase from them. You're seeing that correct, you guys. $3. Don't give up on these big ass bookshelf stereos. They actually had this one hooked up and we're playing music, so I know it works. The tape thing were spinning and working. Make sure and check those out. People still like these for home, but they like them for the lake. They like them for their shop or the man cave or whatever. Three bucks, I'm easily gonna sell this for 50. Maybe even shoot for a little bit more, maybe 60 bucks because it's Sony off of $3. Uh, back there, another bike. Talk about it all the time, you guys. Just if you see a bike and it's an adult sized bike, it doesn't even matter what the brand is. If it's 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars, snap it up. I guarantee you'll double your money, triple your money, quintuple your money. Um, that one happens to be a little bit better. They had 40 on it. I got it for 30. I'm going to post it for 125. Take the first 100. I guarantee you that's going to be gone this weekend. I won't even have that 48 hours. And I'll make 70 bucks off of it. So here we are. 22 minutes in. And I am coming down to what we all came for. I think. Yeah, that's everything. Um, Canada has given the world a few treasures. Celine Dion, of course, Justin Bieber, the poutine, and the oil man game. Yeah, this is a board game. It was made in the province right next to me, which we call them provinces in Canada, not states. I'm in Saskatchewan. This was created in Alberta, where they were big into oil and still are, obviously. This is in mint condition. This was sitting under a stack of games that you'll recognize like Monopoly and Twister. And then underneath all of it was the Oil Man game. Um, I've already taken, sorry, I took the stickers off. I meant to keep them on there. There was a $2 sticker and a $1 sticker on here. I'm actually thinking these people had this at their yard sale last year for $2. And now this year they dropped it down to $1. That's typically what happens if you see multiple prices or spouses are fighting over what to sell stuff for. Either way, you guys, 300 plus dollars for this game in this condition paid one a buck for this wow like i was so excited this is one of those things you put in the back of your head you never really expect to find it and there it was the oil man game massive profits overall you guys i spent just over 200 dollars and all this stuff behind me including of course this amazing find is going to sell for almost two thousand dollars that's why there's nothing i love more than my wife and my kids and my parents and my siblings than garage selling if that makes sense Outside of my family, there's nothing I love more than yard sailing. It is a great high. It is a great way to make a living. Um, and it is, although it takes hustle, in some ways, it is the easiest way out there to make money. So I encourage you guys to hustle. 
Um, keep checking out Flipping for a Living. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe at your leisure. Hit the notification bell so you know when all my new videos come out. I hope to see you guys soon, and I hope you have a great day and love what you do.